This is Lane Stadium in Blackburg, Virginia, where the fans have gathered to cheer on their team. The wind will play havoc with kicks tonight for our game between the USC Trojans and the Virginia Tech Hokies. And here come the Hokies. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet to bring you all the high-intensity action of week one to help you answer the question, who will be crowned national champions this year? The Trojans are very confident coming into this one. They are definitely the favorites in my book, Kirk. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with you on this one, Brad. Virginia Tech is going to have a tough time defending this rushing attack and this running back. It's very important that they shut him down and keep the ball out of his hands if they expect to have a chance in this game. Let me tell you why I agree with you. USC is a physical team that really goes after you on defense. Watch them put serious pressure on his quarterback, forcing him into making careless mistakes. And capitalize on those mistakes will be the reason why they win. Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. Decent kick. Looks to be returnable. Number 24 takes it at the 8. There's a missed tackle. Loose football. Number 35 with a recovery. First and 10. Ball on the 25. The Trojan come out in the ace formation. Keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he couldn't go anywhere on that run. Nah, he couldn't go anywhere because there was no place for him to run. The defensive front got a good push and knocked that offensive line backwards. It's second down now and 13 to go. Ball on the 22. The Hokies line up in a nickelback. Drops back to pass. Steps up. He's looking. Throws this one out to the right. Batted ball. The corner made a good play on the ball. He sure did. This kid is very athletic. If he doesn't get a pick, he does his best to knock the ball down. Third and 13 coming up. Ball on their own 22. The Trojans come out showing three wide. Back to pass. Wants to throw outside. Someone got a hand on it. That'll bring up fourth down. Fourth down, and let me say one thing. This defense was up to the task that time in shutting down the pass play. Yeah, they shut it down, and they got the three and out they were looking for. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. He gets it away. Number 20 calls for the fair catch. He hauls it in at the 38-yard line. Now we'll get a chance to see if this offense can fare any better than their counterparts. They'll, They'll set up shop at the 38. First and 10. Number three comes to the line with three wide. He drops back, looks, and he throws away. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 38. The Hokies come out in a two tight end set. On the ground with a tailback. And he's taken down. A pickup of four on the play. Gain of four on the play. Third and six. Ball on their own 42. On the 42 yard line. USC lines up in a dime defense here. And they hit him in the backfield. They sent the blitz and drilled the running back before he could find any daylight. So they're set to punt this one away. Number five, back to return. Number 38 gets it off. 
Number five signals for a fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 23-yard line. And now we'll see the offense come out out of the field for their next possession. First and ten. Ball on their own 23. First and ten. The Trojans line up with three receivers bunched. Walks this one out to the left. Tackle. What a play. The defensive lineman came down with it. Boy, it's something you don't see every day. A big old defensive lineman grabbing a pass out of the air and intercept it. Yo. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. Number 32 alone in the backfield. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket, looking, and they get the sack. They were bringing a heavy rush on that one. Brad, that's what happens if the quarterback holds the ball too long, waiting for his receivers to get open. Second and long coming up here. Ball on the 28-yard line. The Hokies line up in an eye formation. Back to pass. He's looking. He's in trouble. Throws it to the outside. Batted ball. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Almost a turnover. As a quarterback, I can tell you that those are the only types of drops we like to see. Third down and what they didn't want to get in. Ball on the 28. Virginia Tech. Comes out in the shotgun. He drops back. He steps up, looks, throws this one out to the right. The five. Touchdown, B Tech. They made that touchdown look really, really easy, Coach. And that's what you get when you practice hard all week long. Practice makes perfect, my friend. And that was as close to perfect as you will get. Andy tacks on the extra point. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. and ready for the kickoff. Here's the kick. Number five fields it at the 13. So the offense takes over, and the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. They'll go to work at the 29-yard line. Keep it on the ground with a tailback. And down he goes. Just a yard there. One yard gain on the play. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 30-yard line. Number five is the single setback. He'll get the call again. Sheds that one. He's gobbled up in the backfield. And that was not a good call offensively. Nah, not a good call, only because they lost yardage. I'll tell you, I've seen plays like this where the tailback breaks one and goes for a touchdown. You're right, Lee, you can never tell. Third down and 12. Ball on the 27-yard line. The Trojans come out showing three wide. Drops back to pass. He throws it, and it's caught with the spin. And he's tackled. Solid gain, guys, but short of the first down. Yeah, that was a nice gain. Although it didn't get him the first down, it gives him a little bit more confidence in moving the football against this defense later on in the game. They send out the punting unit. Number 14 punts it, and it's a good one. Number 20 takes it to 21. 
Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. So if I'm the coach, I'm telling my defensive lineman to get more pressure on that quarterback, please. They'll throw on first down. Wants to throw outside, and it's incomplete. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. Two tight ends here. On the ground, up the middle. Brought down. They get three yards on the play. Three-yard gain on the play. Third They're down seven. and seven. Ball on their own 42. Number three with three wide receivers. Back to pass. Across the middle. And it falls incomplete. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. Fourth and seven. Ball on the 42-yard line. And the punt team will come out. It's fourth down. He gets it off. Number five. Fields it to 24. He's hit and got away. Spins up field. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll get the ball here at the 33. First and 10. The Trojans come out in the ace formation. They'll throw on first down. He's going left. Someone got a hand on it. That was a dangerous throw. Oh, not a very good decision. He's got to either throw this one away or take a sack. You don't want to go back to the sideline and have a discussion with the old ball coach if that had been an interception. Number 34 lines up as a single back. off on the counter and down he goes a two-yard run by the halfback gain of two on the play third and eight all on their own 35 the Trojan come out in a two tight end set throws this one out to the left he ignores the footsteps and makes the catch. On third and long, they get the first down, but was it close? Close or not, what a relief it is to the quarterback to have a new set of downs to work with. It's first and 10. Ball on the 44-yard line. The Trojans line up with four wideouts. Again with the run, and he's taken down. They get about five yards from the halfback. Five-yard gain play second down and five and this is the fifth play of the current drive the Trojan come out in the ace formation short call batted ball the pass was knocked down this defense is very aggressive and they swarm to the football they're always making plays to disrupt the passing game the offense faces another third down as they line it up He drops back. Throws this one out to the left. It's deflected. Guys, someone must have gotten a hand up there because that ball came out of there kind of funny. You bet. The quarterback let it fly, but it had no chance after that big tree got in the way. No surprise here as they prepare to punt it away. He punts this one high in the air. Number 20 calls for the fair catch. He hauls it in at the 23. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll take over at the 23-yard line. Number 32 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. They'll throw on first down. Across the middle, and that one's fallen incomplete. The gunslinger couldn't hit his receiver on that pass. I wonder why. Could it have been because it was thrown in the next county? Second and 
second and ten. Ball on the 23. Number three comes to the line with three wide. Drops back to pass. Across the middle. Broke away from one. Tackle. And the pass is caught, but he goes nowhere. Yeah, nice job there by the defense to get to him and make the sure tackle before he can make any moves to break loose. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on their own 26. USC comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Throws it to the outside. It's deflected. So they go three and out after that incompletion. The drive stalls, and they'll have to punt it away. He punts it. Number five takes it to 36. The defense did a good job against him the last time they had the ball, forcing the punt. But remember, they had given up quite a few yards before forcing that punt. They might not be so lucky this time. They'll start this drive at the 47. The Trojans line up with three receivers bunched. They are going to pitch it. And they hit him in the backfield. Two-yard loss. Loss of two on the play. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 45. The Hokies bring in the nickel package. Number 11 with three wide receivers. On the ground, left side. And he's going to lose yards on this one. And the defense was ready for that play. Boy, you better believe it. That play didn't have a chance. It's third down at 15 to go. Ball on the 42. Number five, alone in the backfield. Back to pass. Looking. He's under pressure. He rolls out to the left. He gets the pass away. Just throws this one away. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. The special teams coach sends his punt team out on the field. Punts the ball away. The defense did a nice job of shutting down this offense the last time they had the ball. The offense was not clicking at all. Let's see if they're back on the same page. They'll set up shot at the 28-yard line. Number three comes to the line with three wide. They'll throw on first down. He lobs it over the middle. It's deflected into traffic, and it's picked off. What an interception by the cornerback. This guy needs to be playing both sides of the ball. He can catch the ball better than some of these receivers. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. The Hokies line up with six defensive backs. And this offense is having a difficult time doing anything at the line of scrimmage. Here's an option, right side. And down he goes. And the fullback picks up a couple there on the option. Gain of two on the play. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 48. Number 11 with three wide receivers. The Trojans line up with three wide. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Across the middle. Someone got a hand on it. He had a very small window he was trying to throw to on that one. Yo, you call that a window? The defender had it shut pretty tight. That was a poor decision by the quarterback. Third and eight. Ball on the 48-yard line. The Trojans come out in the ace formation. He's going left. The ball is tipped, and it's incomplete. Ball on the 48-yard line. 
And the punt team will come out. It's fourth down. Number 14 punted, and he didn't kick that ball well at all. Number 8 signals for a fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 20. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll go to work at the 20-yard line. Number 32, the lone back. They'll throw on first down. He's looking, steps up, and he throws it away. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 20. The Hokies line up with four wideouts. It's a direct snap, and he's taken down. He takes the handoff and responds with a seven-yard gain. Third down and three coming up. Ball on their own 27. The defense sets up with five defensive linemen, and they got him for a loss. Well, they avoided the turnover right there. Yikes, that was a close one. A good thing that kid was paying attention and fell on the football. Fourth and eight. Ball on the 22-yard line. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Number five, back to return. He gets it off. Number five takes it to 47. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll take over at the 48-yard line. Number 11 comes to the line with three wide. Brought down. They'll get two on that one. ball carrier. Gain of two on the play. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 50. Here's the give. Tackle. Not much for the runner as he gets back to the line of scrimmage. Third and eight. Ball on the 50. USC lines up with three receivers. He drops back. Looks. And they got it. There was just not enough people to block. And when there ain't enough, you're going to get nailed. Number 14, back to punt. Number 14 gets it off. Number 20 fields it to 17. Do you guys remember what this offense did the last time they had the ball? Did they have the ball before? Exactly. It was three and out so fast they had to ask for slow bowl replay to recap it. They'll get the ball here at the 23. The Hokies come out in the ace formation. Here's the give. He bends, and they hit him in the backfield. No gain. No gain on the play. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 23. Number 32 lines up as a single back. Play action, looking, steps up in the pocket. It's deflected. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. Not a good decision here by the quarterback throwing into coverage. Third and 10, ball on their own 23. The Trojans bring in their dime package, spinning, and he's tackled.
Well, they try to keep it on the ground for the first down. No surprise here as they prepare to punt it away. Punts the ball away. Number 23 takes this to 36. The offense gets ready to start a new drive as they just couldn't get anything going on their last possession, going three and out. They'll start this drive at the 44-yard line. First and 10. Back to pass. Throws this one out to the right. They'll bring him down. They get a good seven yards on that one. Seven yard gain on the play. It's second down and three to go. Ball on the 49. The Hokies line up with six defensive backs. Here he goes. And he's taken down. Number 11. Gain of 14 on the play. First and, First and ten. ten. Ball on the 35. 35 yard line. The Trojans line up with three wide. And he's gonna lose yards on this one. Boy, that was a bad looking play. It all starts with the big guys up front. You gotta get onto your blocks. Right. It's second down now, 14 to go. Ball on the 39. The Trojans come out in a bunch formation. He's looking, throws it to the outside. That looked like a pretty good pass. Yeah, it was, and it was a catchable ball. Throwing right at him. He just didn't catch it. Third and 14 coming up here. Ball on the 39-yard line. Bunch formation. He drops back. He steps up. He rolls left. Pressure coming. He gets rid of this one. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. Number 14 boots it way up there. Number 8 calls for the fair catch. And they'll down it at the 6. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive as they were forced into a 3 and out. Boy, oh boy, they had nothing going last time. Yeah, maybe, Scooter, you need to get out there and show them what you're made out of. Somebody get me a helmet quickly. Number three lines up in the shotgun. It's a direct snap, and they make the stop. Just about three yards there. Three-yard gain on the play. Second and seven. Ball on the nine. On the nine-yard line. USC lines up in a dime defense here. Counter play. And down he goes. About six yards on the play. Ball carrier. Gain of six on the play. Third and one coming up on this play. Ball on their own 15. Virginia Tech lines up in a goal line set. And he's taken down. And the toss to the tailback gives him the first down. First and ten. Ball on the 18-yard line. The Hokies come out in a two-tight end set. A little two. And they make the stop. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. Second 
It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 19-yard line. Number three with three wide receivers. Drops back to pass. Wants to throw outside. Batted ball. I'll tell you what, Kirk. If that receiver doesn't get more aggressive, this defense is going to be knocking the balls down all game long. You're absolutely right. That was a heads-up play by the corner, but it would have never happened if the receiver would have come back to the ball instead of waiting for it to fall into his lap. Virginia Tech lines up in a shotgun set. Looks. He's under some heat. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. They came after him hard there. Yeah, they sure did. And Lee, I think the quarterback felt that pressure coming from every direction. Kirk, as I've always said, the best way to keep the pressure down and to help the quarterback is to run screens and draws. And we've come to the end of the first quarter with the score, Virginia Tech, seven, USC, nothing. Fourth and long, ball on the 12-yard line. Virginia Tech, ready to punt this one away. Number five, back deep to return. He punts it. Number five, fields it for 50, sheds a tackler. The offense comes back on the field, hoping to build off their last drive. Well, they had something going, but were unable to get any points. They'll set up shot at the 46-yard line. Ball on the 46-yard line. Number 11 has four receivers lined up here. Tries to do, can't wrap him up. Brought down. And the quarterback picks up about three on the draw. Second and seven. Ball on the 43. USC goes with the ace set here. Back to pass. He's going right. And it falls incomplete. He sailed that one high. That's not a bad incompletion because he saw the blitz coming and just got rid of the ball to avoid losing yardage. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on the 43-yard line. And they have three receivers bunched. He drops back. He lateral. He has some room. And down he goes. And a big run on third down. Good job there by the offensive line, allowing the runner to get some good yardage. Lee, as you know, anytime you can move the ball like this, you're putting a lot of pressure on that defense. They'll throw on first down. He tosses it short. Complete. And he's tackled. Just a yard there. Makes the catch. One yard gain on the play. It's second down and nine to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Hokies bring in their dime package. Drops back to pass. Looking, steps up, and dip, tipped away. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. The Trojans come out in the ace formation. Back to pass. He's looking. Here comes the pressure, and he's going to come up with a sack. They got heavy pressure on him that time. Boy, you better believe it. The penetration got there, and boom, he went down. Yeah, that pocket just collapsed right on top of the quarterback. They come out in a punt formation. He gets it away, and it's a skyrocket. Number eight signals for a fair catch. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll take over at the 20-yard line. Number 32, alone in the backfield. They go with a the run. Tackle. 
That's a good nine yard gain. Second and one coming up here. Ball on their own 29. Virginia Tech lines up with three receivers. He drops back. He's in trouble. And they got him. And the linebacker blitz worked as they got to the quarterback for the sack. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Going with the shotgun here. Rolls to the right. Let's it go. And it's kicked off. That last INT gives this defense two on the day. Not a good throw there. The quarterback needs to make better decisions. They'll go to work at the 28. The drive at the 28-yard line. First and 10. Number five, the lone back. They're really struggling now as this crowd is going absolutely insane. They'll throw on first down, and it's knocked away. And that pass falls incomplete because it was deflected. That's great defense right there, Brad. That's something the coaches always remind their players to do. Get a hand up in the face of the quarterback. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 28. Single set backfield. Drops back and pass. Across the middle. Couldn't haul it in. How about that? He's got to come up with that catch here. Yeah, you're right, Coach. This is a catch that has to be made. There's really no excuse for dropping that ball. Third and ten. Ball on the 28-yard line. Virginia Tech comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Back to pass. Looks. Steps up in the pocket. He's going left. Batted ball. Well, again, they can't hook up, and it'll bring up fourth down. It's fourth down now, and we'll see the punt team. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Number 20 fields it at the 27. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll start this drive at the 34-yard line. The Virginia Tech Hokies will start the drive at the 34-yard line. First and 10. USC lines up in a dime defense here. They'll throw on first down. Looking. Chucks it deep down the right side. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Pass. Number 12, the intended receiver on the play. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 34. The Hokies with four receivers. On the ground with the tailback. And they make the stop. That'll be a gain of three yards. Three yard gain on the play. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on the 37. The Trojans bring in the nickel package. They are going to pitch it, and he stopped behind the line. Well, that play sure didn't work. Brad, this is a sensational play by the defense. They just charged in there, and they stuck. The Hokies line up to punt. Number 38 gets it off. Number five fields it the 31. Not a whole lot of success their last time out. Not at all. This offense has to do a better job of staying on the field and giving their defense a chance to catch their breath. They'll get the ball here at the 31-yard line. First and 10. Number five is the single setback. They'll throw on first down. 
He's looking. He's got to throw it in a hurry. And it's caught. And he's tackled. That was a good completion there. Yeah, I really like the good, clean routes they ran on that play. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 35. The Hokies line up in a nickel back. He drops back. Throws to the middle. It's tipped. And they do a good job at swatting that one away. You're right, Brad. Excellent awareness by the defender to know where the football is and is get his hand on it. It's third down and six to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. The Hokies line up with six defensive backs. The sellout crowd is really making a difference now as these guys can't even call the play. Well, the defense stood tall there. Boy, the defense did what they had to do to get three and out and now get the offense back on the field. Fourth and six. Ball on the 35-yard line. They send out the punting unit. He gets it off. Number 20, fields it at the 26. He tries to spin. So the offense takes over, and the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. Right. They'll take over at the 41. The, -yard line. the Trojans bring in the nickel package. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And down he goes. A yard, maybe two on the carry. Two on the play. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. The Hokies line up with four wideouts, drops back to pass, looks, got hit as he threw, complete. Great concentration, nothing going on that one. No gain on the play. Third and eight, ball on their own 43. Virginia Tech comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. And they got it. The defense now has four sacks in the ballgame. And the punt team will come out. It's fourth down. Number he punts five, it. Back to return. Number five calls for the fair catch. He hauls it in at the 31. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive as they were forced into a three and out. Boy, oh boy, they had nothing going last time. Yeah, maybe, Scooter, you need to get out there and show them what you're made of. Somebody get me a helmet quickly. First and, ten. and this offense is having a difficult time doing anything at the line of scrimmage. Back to pass. Looking over the middle, and he's taken down. And a nice pickup through the air. I'll tell you what, fellas, I love this kid's throwing ability. He's got a quick release, and he's very accurate. Second and two coming up here. Ball on their own 39. The Hokies bring in their dime package. He drops back. He steps up. He's looking. Over the middle, batted ball, and it's incomplete. The ball is knocked to the ground. Players use anything they can to get in the way of a pass. Third and two, ball on the 39. They come out in a goal line set. And they'll try to get the first through the air. Throws to the middle, incomplete pass. He overthrew his tight end. I know the tight end has a little more height than the wideouts, but give me a break. Fourth and two. Ball on the 39-yard line. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Number, 20, Number 14 gets it off. Number 20 takes it at the 23. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. 
They'll set up shop at the 28-yard line. They come out with three wide receivers. On the ground with a tailback. Missed tackle. He jukes him. Brought down. Gain of nine. Second and one coming up here. Ball on the 37. Single set back to you. Seeing it off. And they make the stop. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. No gain on the play. It's third down and a yard for the first down. Ball on the 37-yard line. They line up in the jumbo set. They'll try to get the first on the ground. Bounces off the would-be tackler. They'll bring him down. And they get enough on the ground for the first. First and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. Virginia Tech comes out with an eye formation. Play action. He's going left. And it's caught. Good pickup by the receiver. Yeah, this kid loves to play. He wants the ball every time they throw it up. Second and two coming up here. Ball in their own 47. Number 32 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. The ball is tipped. That one could have been an interception. Number 87, the intended receiver on the play. Third the offense two. faces another third ball down as they line it up. Line. Virginia Tech lines up in a goal line set. Back to pass. He's under pressure, across the middle. Someone got a hand on it. And that was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's in great position to make the play. And they're ready to punt this one away. Number five, back deep to return. He punts this one high in the air. Number five, signals for a fair catch, and he muffed it. He just couldn't pull that one in cleanly. And Brad, that's what happens when you take your eyes off the ball. This was an error that should have been avoided. First and 10, ball of the 29. The Trojans line up in a nickelback. Drops back to pass. Steps up. Wants to throw outside. Complete. And they hit him in the backfield. Didn't get anything. No gain on the play. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Number three, he's back in the gun. He drops back, steps up in the pocket. Pressure coming. He's looking for his man, and it's caught. And down he goes. About four yards on that play. Gain of four on the play. Third and six. Ball on the 25-yard line. The Trojan bring in the nickel package. Back to pass. Throws this one out to the right. Batted ball. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. Fourth and six. Ball on the 25-yard line. Lines up for the field goal. This could make it a two-score game. The kick is up. They'll start this drive at the 25. First and 10. Yeah. Cut. 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 
Drops back to pass. Throw short. It falls incomplete. Overthrew his intended target. We talked about this before, how pressure causes the quarterback to hurry his passes. Here he felt the blitz coming and got rid of the ball a little too quickly. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. The Hokies line up in a nickelback. On the ground with the tailback. There he goes! And he's tackled at the 34-yard line. Gain of nine. yard gain on the play. Third and one coming up on this play. Ball on their own 34. USC comes to the line with three wide. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. They come out in a punt formation. He punts it. Number 20 fields it for 30. He spins around. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll get the ball here at the 36-yard line. The Hokies come out in the ace formation. Draw play. He jukes. And they make the stop. A pickup of about three. Second and seven. Ball on the 39. On the 39 yard line. The Hokie. Line up the group tight end. On the ground with the tailback. Nothing going on that one. No gain on the play. Third and, Third and seven. seven coming up Ball here. On Ball on their own 39. The defense lines up with six DB, and they'll run him again. And they got him for a loss. Nice play by the linebacker. No gain on the play. Fourth and seven. Ball on the 39-yard line. It's fourth down now, and we'll see the punt team. Number 38 gets it off. Number five calls for the fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 27-yard line. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll take over at the 27. Number 11 comes to the line with three wide. At the 27-yard line, first and 10. The offense is doing everything they can just to call the plays, and right now, they're not having much luck at all. Inside handoff, brought down. A yard, maybe two on the carry. Gain of two on the play. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 29. The Trojans come out in a bunch formation. They're really struggling now as this crowd is going absolutely insane. They go with a pitch to the right. Yeah, that time the defense was swarming to the ball and really didn't allow this tailback any room to run. Third and 13 coming up. Ball on the 24. The Trojans line up with three wide. He drops back. Throws it to the outside. Got it. And he's taken down. Oh, my, that long game gives him a first down, Coach. A first down and a nice pass play. Knowing you can convert on third and long will open up your offense a little bit more on first and second. Let's see what they do from here. First and ten. Ball on their own 43. The Trojans line up in an eye formation. This sellout crowd is really making a difference now as these guys can't even call the play. He steps up, wants to throw outside. It's tipped. And that pass falls incomplete because it was deflected. That's great defense right there, Brad. That's something the coaches always remind their players to do. Get a hand up in the face of the quarterback. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. 
The Trojans come out in the ace formation. Play action. He's under some heat. Across the middle. Batted ball. And an outstanding play defensively. Yeah, he timed it perfectly and managed to get a hand in there to deflect the ball away. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Number 11 with three wide receivers. Back to pass. Steps up. Looks. No one open, so he's going to run. And he's tackled. The special teams coach sends his punt team out on the field. Number 14 boots it way up there. Number 22 fields it at the 11. The offense gets ready to start a new drive as they just couldn't get anything going on their last possession. Going three and out. They'll set up shop at the 11. USC comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Under heavy pressure, he tosses it short, and he can't make the catch. And he couldn't hang on to it. Tough break there. They had a good play on. The quarterback made the right decision, but the tight end just couldn't come up with a catch. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 11. Nice play fake. Looking. Throws it to the outside. Into coverage, and the defense has it. Boy, the defense put the pressure on and forced the bad throw. And you got that one right. Any time a young kid sees one of those big guys looking to knock his head off, his friend is telling him one thing, just throw it. Well, he did, Lee. He did throw it, but he's got to throw it away, not to the other team. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. First and 10. USC comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. They go with a toss. And they hit him in the backfield. They went with the toss, but the defense was all over it. Man, were they flying to the football or what? That's how defense is supposed to be played. Second and 13. Ball on the 21. USC comes to the line with three wide on the ground with a tailback. Brought down. That's a nice six yard gain. Gain of six on the play. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on the 15 yard line. Let's see if their play calling changes now that they're in the red zone for the first time. Throws this one out to the left. Touchdown, Southern Cal. Superb catch by the wide receiver for the score. And he hits the PAT. So with just over a minute to go in the half, the score, USC 7, Virginia Tech 7. Number 16, ready to kick. We should have a return on this one. Number 20, fields it at the 7. I know the first thing I wanted to do after throwing a pick was to come out that next drive and throw. Let the defense know that I wasn't intimidated. And how many times did you go right back in there and throw another pick? As you know, a quarterback needs a short memory, so I really don't remember, Scooter. You know better than that. <laughs> The Hokies set up in the gun. He drops back. Throws this one out to the left. Off his hands, incomplete. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time, guys. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 23-yard line. 
Nickel defense. Setting up the play action. He's going to go for the home run. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. Third and ten. Ball in the 23. USC brings in their nickel package. Drops back to pass. Across the middle. And down he goes. USC takes a timeout. The drive stalls, and they'll have to punt it away. He gets it off. Number five fields it at the 37. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll start this drive at the 39. USC comes out with two tight ends. They'll throw on first down. Throws this one out to the right. And it's incomplete. He overshot his receiver by a mile. Whoa, Nelly. Pull back on those reins a bit. Well, we knew this guy had a strong arm, but that was ridiculous. Yeah, it was. Second and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. They come out with a big set. Back to pass. Over the middle. Finds a man. They'll bring him down. The Trojans are going to take a timeout. And now they've only got one remaining. It's first and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. The Trojans come out in the ace formation. He's looking. Under pressure. Steps up in the pocket. And down he goes. He couldn't avoid the sack there, Coach. Yeah, that protection has got to get better because you don't want your quarterback to get smacked like that. Number five, the lone back. He drops back. He steps up, looks. Going deep on the left side. The ball is tipped. It falls incomplete. That's what can happen when you run the same play. Now you need to be aware of that and try to mix things up to keep the defense off balance. Third and 13 coming up, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. Number 11 comes to the line with three wide. Drops back to pass. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Got hit as he threw, and he can't make the catch. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. They send out the punting unit. Didn't get all of that one. Number 22 signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 16. The defense did a nice job of shutting down this offense the last time they had the ball. The offense was not clicking at all. Let's see if they're back on the same page. Virginia Tech lines up in a goal line set. Spin move, and he's tackled. Gain of nine. On the run, nine-yard gain on the play. That'll do it for the first half here. We're tied as the players head to the locker room. We'll see what kind of halftime adjustments were made as we prepare to start the second half. Kicks it off. Number 12 has it at the five. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll go to work at the 24-yard line. At the 24-yard line. First and 10. One man backfield. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. And they make the stop. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. One yard gain on the play. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 25. 
Ace backfield. He'll keep it on the ground again. Gets past the tackler. Brought down. A gain of about four yards on the draw. Gain of four on the play. Third and five. Ball on their own 29. yard line. The Hokies line up in an I formation. They run a counter. They'll bring him down. Well, it depends on where they spot it, but it looks like he was stopped short. I think so, Brad, and the defense was bending on that play a little too much, but they didn't break. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Number 38 gets it off. Number five fields it at the 37. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll take over at the 38. The Trojans go with the eye formation. He's hit and got away. And they make the stop. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. One man backfield. On the ground with the tailback. Brought down. A yard, maybe two on the carry. Gain of two on the play. Third and five. Ball on the 43. The Hokies bring in their dive package. He drops back with the throw. Couldn't haul it in. The wideout unable to catch that pass. The intended receiver on the play. Fourth and five. Ball on the 43-yard line. They come out in a punt formation. Punts the ball away. You guys remember what this offense did the last time they had the ball? Did they have the ball before? Exactly. It was three and out so fast they had to ask for slow bowl replay to recap it. Well, They'll get the ball here at the 17. Here's a pitch left side. Spins up field. He's gobbled up in the Number backfield. Six. The defense comes up with a good no play to pull him down for play. a loss. A nice call by the defensive coordinator. It's like he's in their huddle sometimes. Second so it's and second ten. and ten. Ball, Ball on the 17. The 17 yard line. One, Virginia three. Tech in a four wide set. Back to pass. Here comes the pressure. Throw short. Complete. And he's hit hard. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. It's third down and six to go. Ball on the 21-yard line. The Trojans line up with six defensive backs. Little handoff. And he's tackled. Not much on that play, and they'll be short of the first. I think the offense thought they'd be able to get past this defense, but they were wrong. Fourth and five. Ball on the 22-yard line. And they're ready to punt this one away. Number five, back deep to return. He punts it. Number five, fields at 46. Not a whole lot of success their last time out. Not at all. This offense has to do a better job of staying on the field and giving their defense a chance to catch their breath. First and ten. Ball right around midfield. USC comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. They'll bring him down, and the quarterback picks up about three on the draw. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 50.
Virginia Tech brings in the nickel here. Drops back to pass. Looking. He's rolling left. He gets rid of this one. Pressure that time, and he was forced into throwing before he wanted to. Wow, the kid just avoided getting smacked on that one. It's third down and seven to go. Ball right around midfield. The Hokies line up in a nickel back. Hand off up the middle. Juke move. Shakes off a tackle. And he's taken down. The halfback runs for four yards. Gain of four on the play. Fourth and three. Ball on the 46 yard line. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Plenty of hang time on this one. Number 22 calls for the fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 14-yard line. So the offense takes over, and the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. They'll set up shop at the 14. He's backfield. He drops back. He's going right, and it's caught. Tackle. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. Second down and short. Ball on the 24-yard line. The Hokies come out in the ace formation. They go with the toss. And he stopped behind the line. Kirk, they really had nothing going on that run. I'll tell you what, Brad, it's almost like he ran into a brick wall on that play. Third and two. Ball on the 22. The Hokies come to the line with their jumbo package. Third and short, and they hand it off. And they make the stop. The offense will leave the field after failing to get a first down. And give credit to the defensive players who made the necessary stops on that sequence of plays. Fourth and two. Ball on the 22-yard line. So they're set to punt this one away. Punts the ball away. Number five, fields at the 48. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive as they were forced into a three and out. Boy, oh boy, they had nothing going last time. Yeah, maybe, Scooter, you need to get out there and show them what you're made out of. Somebody get me a helmet quickly. USC comes out with two tight ends. They'll throw on first down over the middle. It falls incomplete. Well, he missed his receiver there, Coach. Yo, this kid needs to relax a little bit more. That ball's coming out 100 miles an hour. You can't expect the receivers to get to that one. So it's second and ten. Ball right around midfield. And this offense is having a difficult time doing anything at the line of scrimmage. They're going to pitch it. There he goes. Brought down. They'll get nine yards on the play. Nine yard gain on the play. Third down and a yard. Ball on the 41. The Trojans line up in a goal line formation. They'll bring him down. Number 11 on the carry. One yard gain on the play. It's first and 10. Ball on the 40 yard line. The offense is doing everything they can just to call the plays, and right now, they're not having much luck at all. Off his hands and incomplete. The quarterback's got to take some heat off these throws. I disagree. When you're out there throwing the football, your job is to get it to the receiver. It's his job to catch it. You can't catch it for him. That's exactly the kind of comment I'd expect from a quarterback. USC comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass. Steps up. He's looking. He's under some heat. 
He's going left. Someone got a hand on it. Same result after that throw. They just can't complete one. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Single set backfield. Drops back to pass. Throw. In and out of his hands. Not on target at all this drive, guys. Let's see if they can convert. They need this pass. Throws this one out to the left. That was a calculated risk there, don't you think? Yeah, I think it was. Sometimes you have too much confidence in your offense, and it cost them there as they turned it over on downs. They'll start this drive at the 40-yard line. They line up in an eye. Inside give. And they make the stop about five yards there on the fullback carry. Five-yard gain on the play. Second down and five. Ball on the 45-yard line. Number 32 lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Little handoff with the spin. And he's taken down just about three yards there. Three-yard gain on the play. Third and two coming up here. Ball on the 48. They line up in the jumbo set. Third and short, and they hand it off. Brought down. They picked up the first down on the ground attack. You know, great job there by the offense on a crucial third down lead to pick up that first down. Kirk, did you see the way those guys blocked on that play? That was beautiful. First and 10. Ball on the 48. He drops back. Here they come. He'll dump this one off. And he dropped it. The halfback decided to let that one bounce off his hands. That wasn't his best effort. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Number 32, the lone back. They hand it off. And they hit him in the backfield. Loss of about two. Loss of two on the play. Third the offense 12. faces another third Ball down as they line it up. Line. USC brings in their nickel package. Back to pass. Down the middle. And it falls incomplete. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. Fourth and 12. Ball on the 50-yard line. They come out in a punt formation. Didn't get all of that one. Number 20 signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 20. The offense heads out onto the field. In their last series, they opted to try and convert a fourth down, and they came up short. They'll go to work at the 20-yard line. First and 10. Drops back to pass. He tosses it short. What a pick! That last INT gives this defense two on the day. Not a good throw there, and the quarterback needs to make better decisions. Excellent field position to start the drive. The Trojans bring in their dime package. They'll throw on first down. Pressure coming. Throws it to the outside. And that one probably should have been picked off. Yeah, are you kidding me? There's a blanket around that receiver. Somebody else had to be open. Second and 10. Ball on the 20-yard line. They're going to pitch it. There's a missed tackle. And he's tackled. That'll be a two-yard gain. The ball carrier. Gain of two on the play. Third 
It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 18. The offense gets set as they attempt to put an end to these red zone blues. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Tackle. And that won't be enough for the first down. Great job here by the defense in shutting down the run. That's a real boost for this team. Fourth and seven. Ball on the 17 yard line. Here we go. They'll try to make this a field goal game. He gets it up. And it sails through the uprights. Let's take a glance now at the Pontiac drive summary. Virginia Tech to kick, kicks it off. Number five, fields it at the nine. Their last drive ended when they decided to try for it on fourth down and were turned away by the defense. They'll get the ball here at the 29. First and 10. Number five, lines up as a single back. He drops back. Throws this one out to the left. Great coverage, and it's intercepted. And they come up with another turnover. Now, the defense is playing very opportunistic out there today. That was their third interception of the game. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. The Hokies come out in the ace formation. He's in trouble, and he's going to come up with a sack. That gives this defense five sacks on the day. Second down, 14 coming up here. Ball on the 29-yard line. Number 32 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Sacked on play action. That was the sixth sack of the ball game for this defense. Let me say one thing. This defense is good. I mean, real good. They sure are, Coach. They're blitzing. They're stunning. They're confusing this quarterback to death. Third down and a couple miles here. Ball on the 32-yard line. Virginia Tech sets up in the eye. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Under pressure. Wants to throw outside. The ball is tipped. That one could have been an interception. Number 90, the intended receiver on the play. Fourth and it's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. He punts this one high in the air. Number 27 calls for the fair catch. They'll down the punt at the eight. The offense heads out onto the field. On their last series, they opted to try and convert a fourth down, and they came up short. First and 10, ball on the eight. First and 10, ball on the eight yard line. One man backfield. They'll throw on first down. He pump fakes. Throws this one out to the right. Incomplete. Incomplete pass. Number four, the intended receiver on the play. Second it's second ten. down and ten to go. Ball on the eight-yard eight line. Three. USC goes with the ace set here. They're really struggling now as this crowd is going absolutely insane. Here's the give, and down he goes. A yard, maybe on two carry. on the carry. Gain of two on the play. Third and eight, ball on the 10. Number 11 with three wide receivers. Drops back to pass. Throws. Sheds that one. And he's tackled. They convert on third and long, guys. With the offense coming through in a big way that time, how about the timing on that route, coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it. 
for a first and ten. Nice play. First it's first and ten. Ball, ball on the 28. Number five lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. And they make the stop. One yard on the play. Ball carrier. One yard gain on the play. Second and nine. Ball on the 29. 29 yard line. Virginia Tech lines up with five defensive backs. On the ground with a tailback. He juked him out of his shoes. Three yards there on the play. Three yard gain on the play. So another third down upcoming for the offense. The Trojans. He drops back. He's going right. He's got it. And they tackle him. Oh, my. What do you think of that one, Kirk? Boy, I'll tell you what. The quarterback delivered a perfect pass on that play and gave them more than enough for the first down. It's first and ten. And this is the seventh play of the current drive. Three wideouts here. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Not much for the runner as he gets back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten. Ball on the 39. Ace backfield. Back to pass. He steps up. Throws this one out to the right. Got some open field. And down he goes. Another interception. That makes four on the day. Somebody needs to put a 10 over these guys because this is just a circus with all these turnovers. They'll set up shop at the 47. They'll throw on first down. Across the middle, batted ball. And that one's fallen incomplete. Coach, he made a nice defensive play there. He sure did. He just stuck his hand out and hit the football. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 47. They come out with three wide receivers. Here's a little draw play. And he's taken down. And yeah, we got an injured player on the field. Yeah, I think he's hurt his arm or shoulder on that play. But I don't think it's too bad. Third, Third and, and seven. seven coming up Ball here. On Ball on the 44. Yard. Virginia Tech sets up in the eye. <laughs> Little handoff. <laughs> Tackle. They tried to run the ball for the first down, and they didn't get it. No, sir. You saw the defense just power through their blocks and wham into them. So they're set to punt this one away. Number 38 punts it, and he didn't get much distance on it. Number 20 signals for a fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 19-yard line. I'm sure the coach has talked to his team about not turning the ball over again in this possession. They'll start this drive at the 19. USC goes with the ace set here. The sellout crowd is really making a difference now as these guys can't even call the play. On the ground with a tailback. They'll bring him down. Three-yard gain by the running back. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 22. Number five is the single setback. They'll keep it on the ground again. They didn't let him get anything going on that play. No, they didn't. Heck, they didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on their own 21.
We're only separated by a field goal as the third quarter comes to a close. Third and eight. Ball on the 21-yard line. Six DBs in the lineup. Drops back to pass. Wants the middle, and he brings it down. They convert on third and long, guys. With the offense coming through in a big way that time, how about the timing on that route, Coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first and ten. Nice play. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 39. The offense is doing everything they can just to call the plays, and right now, they're not having much luck at all. He drops back, looks, throws this one out to the left. Got it! And he hauled that one in for a first down. Well, that's a big-time play. Did an excellent job there of getting separation from the defender, and he's able to pull down that pass for quite a few yards. First and ten, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. High formation here. They'll throw on first down. Looking. Rolls to the left. He gets rid of this one. Flags are down, and this one might be on the offense. Holding on the offense. Ten-yard penalty. Still first that down. penalty will move him back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. It's first and a mile. Ball on the 45-yard line. And this offense is having a difficult time doing anything at the line of scrimmage. Here's the give. And he's taken down. The back gets three on the carry. Three-yard gain on the play. Second and long coming up here. This is the sixth play of this drive. This crowd is almost shaking the stadium. He unloads it. He spins, and he's going to lose yards on this one. They get a one-yard loss on that one. One-yard loss on the play. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. Number 11 comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass. No one open, so he's going to run. And he's tackled. The quarterback trying to make a play. Well, he did a nice job of getting some yards there on the scramble, but he needs to learn to slide to avoid those big hits. It started with a student section. Now this whole place is going crazy. Wants to throw outside. Got it. Tackle. Wow, they convert on fourth and long on that pass play, Kirk. Guys, you just don't see this happen very often. Fourth and a mile, the receiver comes up with a big play, and the defense is caught off guard for the first down. On the 11, going in. So their last red zone visit resulted in a touchdown. Let's see if the defense can hold them this time. He'll get it again. He's hit and got away. And they make the stop. A seven-yard run by the running back. Seven-yard gain on the play. This crowd is almost shaking the stadium. They hit him in the backfield. The defensive coordinator has a lot of confidence in his pass defense, and he's releasing a safety to stop the run. And Kirk, that leaves a big hole out there. But on plays when they run the ball, it works. And this crowd is going crazy. They are going to pitch it. 
Touchdown, USC. How about that run? Nice call by the coaches here. You use your bread and butter when you're near the goal line. If this guy's the bread and butter, then the offensive line is the meat. They open up the hole for him to score, and without them, you got yourself a pretty plain sandwich. And he tacks on the extra point. Time to take a look at the drive summary. It's brought to you by Pontiac. Fuel for the soul. Number 16 looks ready to kick this one off. Kicks it off. Number 20 takes it from the six. Break one. Spinning. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive as they were forced into a three and out. Boy, oh boy, they had nothing going last time. Yeah, maybe, Scooter, you need to get out there and show them what you're made of. Somebody get me a helmet quickly. Inside give, and he stopped behind the line. The big fella couldn't get any momentum going. It's tough to get this guy down in the backfield. He's always falling forward. But on that one, they hit him before he could get his weight going forward. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 23-yard line. Number 32, alone in the backfield. Drops back to pass. Steps up. He's looking. He's looking down the middle. It's tipped. It's not a good decision here by the quarterback throwing into coverage. Third down and 12 to go. Ball on their own 23. Number three is back in the gun. He drops back. Let's it fly. It's deflected. Oh, boy. Almost intercepted. Well, he tried to thread the needle with that pass. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision, throwing into coverage. Needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. They come out in a punt formation. Didn't get all of that one. Number 23 calls for the fair catch. He hauls it in at the 47-yard line. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. Number 34 is the single setback. Nice play fake. He's going right, and it falls incomplete. The pass was knocked down. This defense is very aggressive, and they swarm to the football. They're always making plays to disrupt the passing game. Second and ten. Ball right around midfield. The Trojans come out in the ace formation. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Didn't get anything. The ball carrier. No gain on the play. It's third down and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. Number five, the lone back. Drops back to pass. Throw short. Incomplete pass. He overshot his halfback that time. The intended receiver on the play. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. Number 14 gets it off. Number eight signals for a fair catch. And they'll down it at the three-yard line. Special teams, coach, playing a big part in this game. That punt was nearly perfect. And that was a clutch kick. Now these guys are going to have to go the length of the field if they're going to win this ball game. This is a situation where you don't want to make a mistake. And down he goes. The running back gets two on the carry. Ball carrier, gain of two on the play. Second 
It's second down and eight. They've got their backs against the wall. I doubt they'd put the ball in the air in this situation. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. No gain. With the carry, no gain on the play. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the five-yard line. Number three comes to the line with three wide. Steps up in the pocket. Looks. Rolls right. Throws it to the outside. Got his man. They convert on third and long, guys. With the offense coming through in a big way that time, how about the timing on that route, coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first and ten. Nice play. First and ten. Ball on the 19. They come out with a big set. Here's a pitch left side. And he's going to lose yards on this one. That toss had no room to work as the defense had the hot pursuit. Man, they just scorched the field to get to him. I can see where the turf is gone. It's second down now and 13 to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Hokies line up with two tight ends. Another run. They'll drop him for a loss. He didn't really have a chance on that play. Boy, guys, how about the defense on this play? They sniffed that play out from the start. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. USC lines up in a dime defense here. He drops back. He steps up, looking. He gives a pump fake. Throws it out there. It's tipped. And they do a good job at swatting that one away. You're right, Brad. Excellent awareness by the defender to know where the football is and his get his hand on it. The special teams coach sends his punt team out on the field. Number 38 gets it off. Number five calls for the fair catch. And they make the fair catch at the 46. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. Excellent field position to start the drive. USC comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Tackle. He picks up four yards on the carry. Gain of four on the play. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 42-yard line. USC lines up with three receivers. They go with a run. He spins around, broke away from one, and he's taken down. And what a run. And here's a stat for you. This kid ran a 4-3, non-win aided 40. Now that's fast. Non-win aided? What are you talking about? I don't care if he had to win or not. This kid can fly. It's first and 10. Ball on the 31-yard line. USC comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. It's deflected, and that one's fallen incomplete. Number two, the intended receiver on the play. Second and 10. Ball on the 31. Three wideouts here, and they'll run him again. And down he goes. A one-yard gain by the halfback. One-yard gain on the play. It's third down and nine to go. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Hokies line up with six defensive backs. Steps up. He's got a throw in a hurry. Batted ball. And that pass falls incomplete because it was deflected. That's great defense right there, Brad. That's something the coaches always remind their players to do. Get a hand up in the face of the quarterback. They're going to try a long field goal here. It's up. And it's wide left. No good. They'll 
go to work at the 30. Virginia Tech comes out with an eye formation. They'll throw on first down. Wants to throw outside. And they make the stop. Good yardage there. And that'll move the sticks. Nice time to call pass here. It looked like the defense might have been looking to run. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 46. Virginia Tech sets up in the eye. The gives to the fullback, and he's tackled. The fullback rumbles ahead for about a yard. One yard gain on the play. Second and nine. Ball right around midfield. Back to pass. He's going right. And got it complete. And he's all the way down to the 26. How about your assessment of that long play, Kirk? Well, Brad, not only a big pass play, but anytime you can stretch a defense on first or second down like this, you're going to open up your running game. It's first and 10. Ball on the 26. Virginia Tech comes out with an eye formation. The ball is tipped. The defender could only get a hand on it. A hand on it? If this kid wants to be a big-time playmaker, he better start getting two hands on it. Yeah, Lee, that ball should have been picked off there. Second and, Second and ten. ten. This is the fifth the play of this drive. Number 32 lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Throws this one out to the right. What a pick! What an interception. That couldn't have come at a better time for the defense. And it couldn't have come at a worse time for the other guys. This turnover might be the decider. They'll get the ball here at the 15. The Trojans come out in a bunch formation. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. There he goes. Spin move. And he's taken down. What a huge run. Remember, this kid can fly. You saw in that run how he just took off and left everybody else looking like they got lead in their shoes. First and 10. Ball on the 27. The sellout crowd is really making a difference now as these guys can't even call the play. They are going to pitch it. A little shake and bake move. Sheds a tackler. And down he goes. A nice pickup of about eight yards. Gain of eight on the play. Second and two coming up here. Ball on the 35-yard line. USC comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Play action, throws this one out to the right. The ball is tipped. And an outstanding play defensively. Yeah, he timed it perfectly and managed to get a hand in there to deflect the ball away. Third and two, ball on the 35. The Trojans line up with three wide. The offense is doing everything they can just to call the plays, and right now, they're not having much luck at all. They'll bring him down, and they keep it on the ground for the first down. Nothing too fancy here. The key is that the running back was able to convert the first down. It's first and 10, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Trojans come out in the ace formation. He drops back, wants to throw outside. It falls incomplete. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. Second and 10, ball on the 38. USC goes with the ace set here. Drops back to pass. Throws to the middle. Batted ball. He still hasn't completed a pass this drive, but we may see another one here. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. 
the Hokies bring in their dime package. He passes it, and it's incomplete. Not on target at all this drive, and that'll bring up fourth down. The Trojans are lining up to punt it away. Number 14 gets it off. Number 20 takes it to 21. Can't wrap him up. Spins up field. This defense did a nice job last time around forcing the interception. And now you'll find out how much faith they got in this kid. Do they run the football or they let her rip? They'll set up shop at the 28-yard line. Virginia Tech comes to the line with three wide. And they make the stop. Four yards gained on that quarterback draw. Second and six coming up here. Ball in the 32. Big dog, big dog. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he's tackled. Six yards on the carry. Gain of six on the play. Third down and short. Ball on the 38. On the 38-yard line. Virginia Tech lines up in a goal line set. Here's the give. They'll bring him down. Well, he got just what he needed on that one. My friends, that's right. You gotta love those short down situations. First and ten. Ball on the 40. The Hokies come out in the ace formation on the ground with the tailback. Nothing going on that one. No gain on the play. It's second down and ten to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. Virginia Tech comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. And he's taken down. A one-yard gain by the halfback. One-yard gain on the play. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. USC brings in the nickel here. He's looking. Across the middle. Got it. And down he goes. Wow. How about that third down conversion? Boy, what a play here, guys. I'm really impressed with the poise of this young quarterback. He was very cool and collected out there on that third and long play. First and ten. And this is the seventh play of the current drive. Pull back straight ahead. And they make the stop. A pickup of five. It's second down and five to go. This is the eighth play of this drive. Number 32, alone in the backfield. Back to pass. The ball is tipped. Coach, you made a nice defensive play there. He sure did. He just stuck his hand out and hit the football. So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. The Trojans line up with six defensive backs. He lobs it out to the right. Complete. They'll bring him down. That play was designed to pick up a first down, but they didn't do it. It looks like the receiver just lost track of where he was on the field. Controlling the line of scrimmage is crucial here. He gets another carry. Got some open field. Out of bounds. He looks to be hurt down there. It's first and ten, and this is the 11th play of the current drive. The kicker got them points on their last red zone visit. Let's see if the offense can get points this time. He's been taking it to the opposition all game long. This halfback has run over, around, and through this defense. 
This kid's a good-looking football player. Going with the shotgun here. They snap it to the back. Bounces off the would-be tackler. And they make the stop. The fullback picks up about three yards on that carry. Virginia Tech calls a timeout. Congratulations to our Old Spice players of the game. Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. Ace backfield. They'll throw for the first. Wants to throw outside. Almost intercepted. Guys, someone must have gotten a hand up there because that ball came out of there kind of funny. You bet. The quarterback let it fly, but it had no chance after that big tree got in the way. Virginia Tech lines up in a goal line set. They go with a run. Makes a move. And he's tackled. Virginia Tech takes a timeout. They've got about 100 tight ends in there for this goal line play. Fullback handoff. Touchdown, V Tech. So they give it to the fullback, and he finds his way into the end zone from a few yards out. Why not give it to this guy inside the five? He looks like a big old dump truck carrying a football out there. And he tacks on the extra point. So here's the Pontiac drive summary to recap what just happened. Virginia Tech ready to kick this one off. And this one's a short kick. Number 18 fields it at the 19. They're just about ready to get this drive started. After their last series had some promise, but it ended with a punt. They'll take over at the 25. They'll start the drive at the 25-yard line. First and 10. USC comes to the line with three wide. He drops back. He's under pressure. Throws. And it's caught. And down he goes. USC calls a timeout. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 28. Number five is the single setback. Wants to throw outside. And they make the stop. USC takes a timeout. Third down and short. Ball on the 35-yard line. USC comes out with two tight ends. Play action. Looks. Rolling out to the left side. He's going left. And that was out of reach for his tight end. the pass off and he's sacked they couldn't convert that fourth down boy look at these guys out there they're fired up now let's see if it's going to lead to any points they'll go to work at the 29 yard line virginia tech will kneel on it here as they count the seconds down and he'll just kneel it here usc calls a timeout Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 31-yard line. Virginia Tech is about ready to celebrate a big victory here. And he takes a knee.
It's third down and 13 to go. Ball on the 32. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. And he'll just kneel it here. And this ball game's over. Kirk, what'd you think of this one? I'm sad to see this one in because it was a great game to watch. USC played a good game out there, but they needed to make one or two more big plays, and they couldn't do it. Who knows? Another couple minutes, and this one may have gone the other way. Thanks for joining us for another presentation of NCAA Football 2005. And our final score in this one, Virginia Tech 17, USC 14.